Hello, this is Jan John. Today I am going to correct and improve a student's essay. You can see the essay printed below, the student's answer that is, and the areas I have highlighted I am going to correct or improve. I would suggest that you first look at the answer and the highlighted areas see if you can guess what is wrong and don't forget if you are listening to this on YouTube you can also see the transcript although there may sometimes be mistakes as this is voice recognition software so let's begin with paragraph one yes I believe that when we our teenagers we all have dreams which may influence our lifestyles when we become adults I have changed much of this paragraph because the meaning is not clear the way it is written the writer talks about realistic dreams but that's really not relevant to the question whether the child's dream is realistic or not realistic is not really relevant. Also, the, the writer is talking about teenagers, whereas the question refers to young people. Remember, teenagers means from the age of 13 to 19. And for this question, we should also be considering much younger age ranges as low as five or six paragraph two for example when i was in high school i found that i was good at at mathematics therefore i decided i wanted to entrance to the accounting faculty here here we should also add I when I was in high school I found that I was good at mathematics therefore when I went to university I decided I wanted to entrance to the accounting faculty this has really affected with an a affected my life because now I am working as a finance officer I put finance officer here because I'm not quite sure what the writer means by financial reporting paragraph 3 some people may say that a child's future is determined by his dreams when he is young because of these dreams they may have a strong desire to achieve what they want here we should have a full stop because the next part of this sentence is an example so full stop after achieve what they want then for example if their parents are doctors and they grow up in this environment they may well have a strong ambition to become a doctor when they grow up however i believe that there are many factors which determine a child's future i think this is not quite clear i'm going to change this to there are experiences which can happen at any age which can determine a child's future i think that's better because the writer's point is that experiences the child has when they are say five or six or even 18 to 20 can be significant in influencing their adult life last paragraph in conclusion i am convinced that life experiences we have when we are young are very influential 
to our futures. Again, I've made some changes in paragraph 4 to make it clearer. Now, there are many problems with this student's answer, many grammar mistakes, and sometimes her ideas are not expressed very clearly. One easy way to improve this essay is to give more detail. So, for example, in the introductory paragraph, number one, we could have given a couple of, couple of examples of dreams kids may have. For example, one child may dream of being a policeman, whereas another may want to be a doctor. I remember when I was a kid, I used to love to watch cop movies, and I thought that policemen were all heroes, and I really wanted to be one when I grew up. Remember, by giving more detail like that, you're going to get much higher marks in an exam, and it is also much better quality English. Similarly, in paragraph 2, the writer could have given more detail about the experience of liking mathematics. For example, I found that I was very good at mathematics. I nearly always came top of the class and I had many friends because they would come to me for help with difficult problems they could not solve. And finally, the, the writer didn't importantly give the opposite point of view, which is that maybe sometimes early experiences do not affect your future. So for example, she could have talked about things which we do in our adult lives which are not the result of childhood experiences. For example, I love to listen to classical music such as Beethoven and Mozart, yet when I was young I used to hate this kind of music. When my mother or father would play this kind of music in the house I would always run out or cover my ears so I wouldn't have to listen to the dreadful noise. So remember, more, more detail is always an easy way to improve a piece of writing or speaking. Although there are many problems with this piece of writing, I still think it is basically reasonable quality English and shows the student has great potential to improve. Okay, thank you for listening.